Hello, this is Andrea Sancho from the Technical Marketing Group, and this is a demo of the new Cloud Connected UC feature, WebRTMT. Let's get started. You can launch WebRTMT from Control Hub by navigating to Services and Connected UC. Then you go to Dashboards, and now you can select the cluster you want to work on. In this case, I'm going to click on Lead Cluster. A new tab is open, and now I can access WebRTMT. Only remember you need local access or VPN connection to your cluster. Under Overview, we have the System tab with an Alert Summary box to display the alerts by product. Also, Alert Summary presents the most recent active alerts with the option to directly navigate to the Alerts page that we are going to cover later in this demo. The rest of the system page shows system and database metrics such as virtual memory or active client connections, with the option to display the real-time data in table or chart formats, filter out elements directly on the chart, and also the expanded view to search and filter out by servers or nodes. Now let's move to the next tab on their overview, which is voice and video. Voice and video page shows the data into three categories. The first one is call activity. In there, we can see, for instance, calls in progress. If we hover over the graph, a table summary of that point in time will be displayed and updated as the cursor moves. We have as well gateway activity with the option to filter by type of gateway and the same occurs for trunk activity where we can filter by protocol. Now, let's move to the next tab on their overview, which is devices. This page shows several counters in two categories, registered device summary and font summary. In this page, we can filter data as desired and examine point in times as we've seen before by filtering directly on the graph or hovering over the graphic. Alert Central is the next feature. Active Alerts consolidates all alerts and allows the option to export the list, view details of the alerts, and select one or many listed items and clear them out. On their history, we will find the alerts that popped the last 30 minutes and the export option is also available here. Settings page displays all configurable alerts and the option to set up the details for each one in the configuration window. At the bottom, you will find the email notification setup where you can select an email group previously configured that will receive the alarm or, if you want, create one on the fly and save settings. The email group associated with the alert now is easily seen in the list. Also, we have the suspend option that can be used to suspend or resume the alerts per server or cluster wide. Let's move to email group very quickly. In this page, we can see the previously configured email groups. Let's add a new email group here. You only need to fill the blanks and the important part here is the association of the email groups with the alert. In this example, let's type system and let's associate the two here with this new group and then click on save. Now the group is created and we can see some of the associated alerts. Performance tab allows administrators to create multiple and flexible dashboards with counters you really need to monitor your systems. I don't have dashboards yet in this cluster, so let's add a new one called system. I will select all the servers because I want to show them all in the graphics. I am interested in processor category, so I can select counter CPU. Once I'm ready, I click on add counter. Now, meanwhile, the information gets populated. Let's add the second counter. Same, all servers, processor category, and system percentage as a counter. And in this way, I can continue building up my dashboard to monitor my systems. If desired, I can add another dashboard. If we hover over, we can see the details in a specific point in time, as we have shown before. We can filter out by servers, 
and switch between the table, the chart, and the expanded view. In the expanded view, we can filter using the same options and also the view switching is available. Please notice that you can rearrange the charts at any time and edit the counters. Also, you can set up alarm settings for each chart and associate it with an email group for a specific nodes. You have the option to configure thresholds, a duration, frequency, and even a schedule if desired. Trace and locks. Show service locks with the option to collect files or crash dumps. The logs are organized in three categories, system, UC, and IM and presence. If you click on it, you will see the complete list. Let's go back to UCM services and let's collect CTI manager logs. We can collect them by cluster or specifying nodes. Let's move to the next step, which is the action. I want to download the logs now, so I select download logs and I specify the time zone. Also, I'm going to specify the time range and we are set up. But before moving to the next tab, I'm going to click on schedule collection. Now I can specify if the log collection is going to be local or to an SFTP server. System logs under trace log allows administrators to collect instant logs or audit logs per cluster or node. And finally, the job status tab is where the administrator can verify the status of the log collection task or job on each one of the servers. Device search is the tab where administrators can search all different device types and apply different additional filters such as device status or protocol. Let's click on SIP and now let's try to find a specific model 8841 for testing. I can filter now by call manager or also by download status and decide which attributes to include in the report. Once I click on search, I'm going to see the results that are including the attributes I previously selected. Also, I have the option to export the results and decide if I want to save it on PDF or CSV formats. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this demo.